Okay, so welcome back to Spiritually Honest Tarot. This is Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into Aquarius's mid-monthly love tarot reading between you and your person. Whether it's old love, new love, or incoming love, we're just going to see what's going on. So let's get started. Hope y'all have been okay. My friend, a good friend, is an Aquarius, and she just got into somebody new. So it's interesting. It feels like I get to kind of sneak peek. So let's see. What's going on with Aquarius in their love life? mid-month reconciliation okay okay so which Aquarius is reconciling with somebody what else is going on with Aquarius in their love life Aquarius is in their love life attraction Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius is in their love life Pay attention to the red flags. Okay. And last one popped out. Past life relationship. All right, Aquarius, this, this is definitely an ex that you are connecting with. Definitely not my friend's uh, situation, so I can't sneak peek into her situation. So I will. <laughs> so let's see. It seems like there might have been some issues here. Somebody caught some red flags in this connection and decided to call it a quits. Whether it's you or your person, could be your person though, um, that you saw red flags in, operating it and moving a certain way that you're just not dealing with. So, let's see what's going on with Aquarius in their love life. We have a union. First card out. Let's, okay, cycles. Yep, this is somebody you've been in and out of a connection with. What's going on with Aquarius? Love life. Aquarius is in their love life. Mid-March. 2021. Aquarius. Aquarius. Banish. Yep, definitely is speaking to a on and off connection you've had with somebody, Aquarius. But somebody is manifesting you back with the manifestation card. Somebody needs their Aquarius thing back in their life. Okay, so let's go ahead. Pull out the tarot. I already pre-shuffled off camera. Just wanted to give a quick shuffle for you guys so you guys know that I've shuffled. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see how they feel about you. The lovers in reverse. Somebody's made a decision here. There is a strong soul connection. Somebody still feels bound to you, Aquarius. Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody wants to put down the arguments, fighting, disputes, competition. Somebody's coming in as a Knight of Pentacles wanting to give you something. Okay, way too many cards. Somebody's wanting to come in with a stable offer this time around. Somebody's wanting to, okay, we got the tower and the sun. Bottom of the deck is six of swords in reverse and the strength card right underneath that. So somebody's not holding back from you anymore. This person misses the crap out of you. You are their sunshine, their happiness, everything. You know what's so interesting? A lot of these readings I've been doing today um, and even yesterday or the day before, Really, a lot of them talk, talk about reconciliation in some form or shape, right? But this person misses you and they want you back. They're still attracted to you. And I think, you know, with this five of wands and, the, and how they feel about you, they definitely want to let go of any conflict or competition or, you know, any third party scenarios, whether it was another person or maybe it was just another circumstance that, you know, broke up this connection. They definitely want to let that go, you know? I think you're still on guard, though, as an Aquarius should be. You're very intuitive. You're very intelligent and smart, and you look at things very logically, and if it's not adding up, then you're cutting it out. So I think when this person is coming around or wanting to come around, you're noticing. You're going to be on guard to see if there are any repeat red flags or any repetitive behaviors, because we do have cycles here, if there are any repetitive behaviors from the last go-round, right? Because I feel like you guys might have been in you know, on and off. And I don't mean on and off as in like, okay, we work and we don't work. But I mean like you guys would be together for quite a while and it'll work and things are on a great page and then it ends. I feel like you guys have broken up quite a few times um, or at least a couple at the minimum. Yeah, this person misses you, man. They, they miss you. They feel that you're their soulmate. They want you back. They need that Aquarius loving from you. They need that Aquarius touch. You are their son, you know, and this person may even want children with you, marriage with you, family with you, with the union card here. So let's see what's going on with this connection. Why is union here, spirit? Whoa. Okay. 
and as I speak, two of cups upright. This person is not playing about you, Aquarius. This person misses the dog loving crap out of you. They want to come back. They want you. You have the two of cups here, and it flew. It went flying. You saw that. Why else is you in here? One more card, Spirit. What's going on with this connection? What's going on with this connection? Aquarius and this person. One more card, Spirit. Yeah, the way that two of cups flew out. Whew. Jeez. Why is Union here, Spirit? Why is Union here for Aquarius? All right, so Aquarius, my camera stopped rolling and I kind of kept going and not noticing that my camera stopped rolling. So let me just give you a recap, right? So you just previously saw a few seconds ago that the two of cups went flying, right? But on top of that, we have the six of pentacles in reverse and the nine of wands. So this person knows that they breadcrumb you, breadcrumbed you. They know that they didn't give to this connection. They know they weren't devoted to this connection in the way that they should have. They know that they gave you only a little bit, only gave you a little time, only gave you a little attention. Or even if they gave you time and attention, they didn't fully give themselves to you. They may have not opened up to you. They may have not um, fully told you everything about themselves. You didn't get to really know the true essence of who this person was. They kept you at a distance. They definitely kept you at a distance with this nine of wands. However, this person is not giving up on you. They do want a union with you. They do want to come together with you. They do want to be with you. Absolutely, they definitely want to be with you. And we have cycles here with the King of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. This person has put you, a couple of scenarios here. This person has put you through a couple of cycles. So you guys might have been on and off. You guys come together, it works, and then this person does something to hurt you and now the connection is cut off. You cut this person off right out the door. And then they come back around and then same song and same story, right? But also, too, this can be took as, you know, you've been in cycles with people or, or in relationships of you give yourself, you try to make a relationship work, and then they do something to mess up the connection, whether it is third-party situations and whatnot, and then, you know, it goes out the window. And you, you're tired of dealing with cycles of people, of them not fully giving themselves to you or cheating or lying or not being devoted. You know, you're giving your all or you're at least showing up as your authentic self and they're not. And prior to me now reading this back again, um, on the bottom of the deck when I pulled these two cards, the King of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse, we had the Three of Cups and we also had the Queen of Wands underneath, which let me know that there was a third party situation. There was somebody else that this person was giving to and not just you and that makes sense as to why they were breadcrumbing you because they were giving to somebody else. They were connecting with somebody else and not just you, okay? So let's move over to banishment. So we ended up pulling the seven of pentacles and the five of cups. This person's wanting to banish the idea and get rid of the idea of, um, of them not giving to this connection, them not investing in this connection, them feeling like they don't want to invest in this connection. They wanna get rid of that. They don't wanna be in that state anymore. They don't wanna be in that phase anymore with you because there's been a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow here. And I don't know how long ago you guys might have separated or broke up or just ended the connection. You guys might have not even been in a relationship with each other. You guys might have been just in a situationship or talking or just in the dating phase. Um, but they they no longer want to hold back from this connection. They want to get rid of that. I feel like this person is getting out of that sadness and that's why they're now feeling confident to come towards you. Right? But I also feel like for you too, let's flip it. You're tired of people not investing in you. You're tired of people not investing in you. You're tired of people and you're ready to banish and cut anybody off who's not willing or ready to see your worth or see the value in fully committing to you or fully investing in you the way you need, okay? So let's see. Let's catch back up to speed. We're on manifestation now. So spirit... Okay, way... Oh my God, way too many cards. I'm so sorry. Okay, why is manifestation here? for Aquarius and their person. Why is manifestation here for Aquarius and their person? Oh, um, okay. Yep. Yeah, they know you walked away. They know you walked away. And I feel like they're afraid that you're not gonna take their couple up with the Eight of Cups upright and the Knight of Cups in reverse. There, there, there's a fear here of 
Um, and it, they feel like you've emotionally withdrawn from this connection. And it's like, they feel like if they come in, you may not even take them back. But they're wanting to manifest something new. They're wanting to manifest a new beginning here. But there is something holding them back in their emotional sector because if they do come forward, you as an Aquarius, you're no nonsense. You're no BS. I mean, you're the queen of swords, you know? You like things just, fair, honest, and true. And if it's none of that, if it lacks integrity, it's out the window for you. And rightfully so. And this person, I feel like they have a sense of that, that that's the way you are. And there, there's some type of emotional fear here of coming back to you because they feel like you may reject them, right? So that's kind of what's going on currently in this connection. So let's see what is the potential outcome between you and your person, Aquarius. Let's see the potential outcome between you and your person, Aquarius. Potential outcome between you and your person, okay. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. This person is going to try to start a new beginning because they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. God, these cards keep falling. Okay. Four cups fell on the floor in the reverse position. Yeah, they're getting out of this space of feeling dejected. Um, they're getting out of this space of feeling a lack you know they know that they messed up and they know they feel a lack without you so they're wanting to come forward but i feel like the actual offer that they want to present there's some hesitation here and i am going to clarify why the page of cups is in reverse uh, but let's see some more what's the potential outcome between aquarius and their person i can't believe the way that two of cups went flying that was insane aquarius what else? What else is going on for my Aquariuses? We got Eight of Wands and the Emperor. Yeah, this person's coming in hot. They're coming in hot. They're coming in hot. Don't expect this person to give you an emotional outpouring. This person can be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They can be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, don't expect an emotional outpouring. Because I don't see it happening. I don't see them coming in and professing their feelings or even giving a lot of sorries. And I don't really like that because you deserve to be apologized to if this person hurt you. Okay. Cur clarifying the page of cups, we have the ten of cups. Yeah, they want the full package with you. I don't feel like they're going to express it, though. I think they're going to come in a, in a very stoic, logical, direct way and speak on what happened even though they want the ten of cups they're gonna come in like the emperor of you're not gonna see my emotions you're not gonna see what's really going on you're not gonna see all of that i'm just gonna come in hey aquarius let's talk can we make this work you're not gonna get the i'm sorry i apologize you're not getting none of that right but don't let him fool you this person wants the full package with you that's what your reading is called. Don't let don't let them fool you. Sorry about this, Aquarius. Otherwise, I will forget. Yeah. And on the bottom of the Romance Angels deck, we have playfulness. And now connecting these energies back, this person may come in a very playful manner, a very light manner, very airy, like in your type of energy, very airy. They may try to match your energy but in a playful way. They're not coming in emotional though, even though they want it all with you. We have the magician here on the bottom. Definitely want to manifest something new. We got the queen of cups. A lot of emotion here for you. I think there's still mutual love for each other. I'm not gonna lie, because the queen of cups tend to talk about mutual emotions or mutual feelings. I do feel like this person has been spying on you, watching you with the page of swords. Even though it's in reverse, I think they still have been watching and spying you on you. You might have been doing the same. But I think it's more so about watching you in a strategic manner of when's the best time to come in, when's the right time. Because, again, it's more in a logical, stoic way versus emotional. But they want to heal this connection with the star. They definitely do. They want to heal this connection with you. Okay? So let's get some, let's get some uh, advice. What's going on? So Aquarius... Don't let this person fool you, okay? 
when they come back in don't let this person fool you because they want it all with you they do want it all with you they see it all happening with you they know that they messed up they know that they stepped out when they shouldn't have they know they do know so let's see let's see here for aquarius Ooh, i did a capricorn reading in my throat if you see that video you'll see my throat literally goes out it closes <laughs> mid video and I'm still struggling a little bit from it. So let's see, what is the advice? What is the advice for my beautiful Aquariuses? What is the advice for this connection for my beautiful Aquariuses? Let's see, what is the advice for my beautiful Aquariuses? Oh no, that's too many. Advice for my beautiful Aquariuses spirit, okay. A be beautiful advice, let's see. What else can we tell our Aquariuses today? In regards to this connection. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card. One more. There we go. We got the last one. All right, y'all. A lot of fire energy. Again, you could be dealing with a fire sign. We got it's time to take action. A fiery climax approaches and confidence is your key to success. So I'm definitely feeling strong fire energy, which makes sense because air and fire goes hand and foot together as far as astrological combinations. Um, we have a new moon in Aries, full moon in Aries, and new moon in Leo. So you could be doing one of those signs. Um, but definitely be confident, stand your ground, keep your boundaries set, know what you want, know what you don't want. Don't let this person come in and try to dictate how this thing goes. You dictate. Because this person's coming in as the emperor, which means they're going to try to come in and dictate you know, the approach back to you or dictate how they communicate with you and don't allow them to you need to put the ball back in your court if you're the one that's hurting if you were the one that got done wrong you need to be the one that dictates how this goes and you need to do it confidently okay strong message there but the fiery climax approaches this is coming together very soon especially with this eight of wands upright and time to take action this person is not going to wait this person definitely has to be a fire sign i feel very much strong fire energy here this person is rushing in to make things right. So um, if you don't hear anything from this person within the next few days, you definitely will hear something from this person by springtime. Mind you, spring starts on the 21st or the 22nd of this month. So not too long, okay? Springtime is coming right around the corner, and you are going to hear from this person sooner than you think, all right? So that is your reading. That is your lovely reading, lovely, lovely reading, Aquarius. If the reading resonated, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. Also, too, I'll be doing your end-of-the-month readings pretty shortly, so I'll talk to you then. Bye, Aquarius.